What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I got Mr. Yee Yee fishing with me. We've been uh, sitting around for about the last hour or so trying to wait out a thunderstorm. Now we did get out and try to get started before the thunderstorm came through, but our boat's actually having some trouble and not running quite right. We let it sit for a little while and then we sat for a little while in the truck. But I mean, we're this is a two hour drive for me to get here and an hour drive for him to get here. So we're not gonna waste an entire trip. I mean, we're, we're at least gonna piddle around somewhere right here in close proximity to the boat landing try to do a little bit of fishing, try to catch us a few that way anyway. We I mean, don't really have too much confidence in taking the boat too far out with the way that it's acting. But we're gonna see what happens. Uh, the rain's starting to come down a little bit more, but it'll be all right. It ain't gonna hurt us. Just might not be able to film since I have the cover off my uh, my camera for hooking the battery up to it until this rain stops a little bit, but we'll pick up wherever. But before we do get started, I appreciate all the support. Thank y'all for watching. If you're enjoying the content that I've been putting out, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you'd please consider subscribing to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Y'all stay tuned, see how it turns out. I'm right, gonna tell y'all what we're doing right quick. We're uh, we're kind of sitting right here in the slack water where this island's blocking the current flow from us. And what I've got, I've got some little Berkeley gulp minnows. And I've just got a, got a split shot rig. And I'm taking it and throwing it right there just in the edge of that current. Just letting it drift on down. Letting it get down to about right there if I don't get a hit. Throwing it back up in the current and repeating. I've actually got a large mouth in the live well right now. We'll show them to y'all here in a little bit, but uh, didn't get to catch on camera because it was raining. Now the rain has quit though. So we are going to get the GoPros out. What's up, GoPro fish? You got a fish on? Yeah. I know what he is though. Yeah, it's on. Probably oh, skip that because it got down there and skip that territory. And he came off. <laughs> Dang. Alright, y'all know I told y'all we were drifting, but uh, we're changing up the tactic just a little bit. Oh, yee yee, he broke out a daggum spook because we were having a lot of surface activity right through here, right along the slack water along the current seam. And he pulled a large mouth off of it real quick. So I'm gonna uh, actually break out old bait caster and get a pencil popper, start slinging it around, see if I can get in on top water action. I'm sure I'm gonna go back to drifting, but we will try this for now, see if we can get some excitement. I landed right on top of him. Oh, I got one. I looked up. I landed right on top of him. They didn't have a choice for these, I think. <laughs> As they were blowing up, I mean, my dig pencil popper landed right on top of him. I think he got it by accident. Good spot, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a short, little, chunky little feller. Decent large mouth. Put him back. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got a fish on, but I'm right here in a real dangerous swift spot that I got a control day control motor in. So we're just gonna try to keep this fish on while we drift through this spot. And then we're gonna get him in. What? Hopefully we can keep him on there. Small mouth, ain't it? I think it is, I'm not sure though. Drum, dang dumb it. Oh well. He's good, Phil tugging on line anyways. We'll we take it. Yeah, he's target species by no means, but got old big old drum. He's a, he's a tug on line anyways. Fun to catch. All right, buddy. It's hard to tell in that current. It felt, felt like something a lot better. Might as well keep drifting this for now. Maybe something else will decide to bite, though. The drone's got me back awake now anyways. I got fish. Smallmouth. Yes. <laughs> I continue my streak of smallmouth at Pickwick. <laughs> he's a little dude, but he's smallmouth. All right. Can't let that little squirmy fella go. All right, buddy. Right. Back back fish. Get a little bit of confidence going. It's a measly small mouth and a make them drum, but I'll take it. Got us another little trooper on there. That one slung her old one off. I'm gonna get him back out there and see what happens. Yeah, I got him on the uh the actual uh, the new reel that Runkle had sent me, the Runkle Baelish 3000. Probably don't really have to mention it on YouTube because they sent me this one to do a TikTok video with, but pretty good looking reel. Feels good with this duck ejected wheeler rod. I figured it would. Catch it. Little brown dude. No, oh, you slow my crawfish off, dude. Look at that. Thing's expensive. Well, that's one, too. That one ain't colored up as pretty as that last one. Small Joe. Right, Been slow going for us today ever since that kind of hot start we had. I mean, we had four fish in the boat pretty quick. Yeah, been real slow going since then. We've done drifted all the way from the Dagum Dam all the way down here back to McFarland Park just about. But really, I mean, we probably would have did more today. We did more running around, did a little bit different stuff today, but the Dagum boat giving us trouble, I mean, kind of limited us. It's really all we could do. Couldn't really make any runs down river because I mean we'd never make it back up if the motor were to completely crap out. I mean you ain't fighting this current right here with that troll motor. I've tried it before, it don't work. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> he was trying to sabotage me. He knew I had a fish. What? That ain't no head. <laughs> we got the trifecta today, buddy. Got a spot. Oh, he is a little wounded. He caught it right there. 
underneath his tongue right into the gill. Get him off here pretty quick and get him back. Yeah, let's get him back pretty quick. But we've completed the pickwick slam. Got smallies, large mouth, and spot. All right, buddy. I got him on the Berkeley Max Scent uh, flatworm, but I actually took off camera. And I took some scissors and I split the tail on it just to give it a little bit of action. So it wasn't just a whole little straight tail flatworm deal. Wanted it to have some movement. And sometimes you gotta modify stuff and make it the way you want. I'd like to have a better smallie to go with it for our uh, Pickwick Slam, but hey, I mean, we'll take it. Pickwick Slam, it's Pickwick Slam. We are gonna nestle on up in here. Put a split shot out in the current. We well, all it's gonna be a wrap for this one. I mean, we faced a ton of adversity today. I mean, I really don't know how good of a job I did filming. Don't know if I'll make a video of this, honestly. But I mean, if you're seeing this, obviously I decided to. I decided just to roll out what I had. But I mean, with all the troubles and everything we're having with the boat, I mean, it kind of flustered me. So I wasn't really in my element. I, mean, I wasn't really feeling recording, but I mean, I still got a few shots of some fish that we caught. Um, we'll see how it turns out. I don't know. The one silver lining to the thing is based off the symptoms that the boat's having, what it's doing. I know exactly what it is because I mean, it's actually the same issue that the boat had when I initially bought it. Um, when I bought it, it had a, uh, back several years ago, it had a hole in the fuel pump diaphragm and it's showing the exact same symptoms now. I mean, after I'd fixed it back when I bought it back then, boats ran like champ ever since then. Never had any issues like that. But uh, what I'm pretty sure has happened, I mean, I haven't been using non-ethanol fuel in the boat. Um, I think this time after I put the new uh, lift pump diaphragm in it, we'll put regular, start using regular unleaded gas, not using anything with ethanol in it just to make sure that we don't get another hole eating in that fuel lift pump diaphragm. Yeah, luckily, I mean, it's just a $50 part and it don't take me but about 30 minutes to put it on. Shoot, that ought to have her back going real good again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all for the support. See y'all next time.